All right, hey everybody. So I'm going to quickly go over an example of an incomplete left bundle branch block. And so we know that left bundle branch blocks are um, caused by a block of left bundle. And this causes a QRS to be greater than 120 milliseconds. But in an incomplete, a QRS will be less than 120 milliseconds. So really the only difference between a complete and an incomplete left bundle branch block is that the QRS will not widen in an incomplete. So the QRS is not wide, but it has this left bundle branch block morphology meaning that we're seeing some of the characteristic depolarization abnormalities within the left uh, bundle branch and the left ventricle. However, it is not completely blocked to the point that it widens the QRS, right? Because to say it's, if it's completely blocked, we know that the QRS will widen greater than 120 milliseconds. And so if you look at this EKG, we're gonna look at just the QRSs because we know the QRSs are our ventricular depolarization. We see that our QRSs are, they're not quite greater than three small boxes. They're, they're still about 100 milliseconds. So this is not wide. We know this is not a bundle branch block, but we still see this left bundle branch block morphology. So remember left bundle branch blocks? If you, if you don't quite remember, go check out my left bundle branch block video. I'm going to go into the deep mechanism of the of left bundle branch block and why the morphology is the way it is. But remember, we get this RSR prime in the lateral leads, RSR prime in the lateral leads. And sometimes that RSR prime, if you look at here at AVL, you get RS, little R prime there. Sometimes the RSR prime isn't perfectly... Uh, evident, and it's just more of a slurry upward QRS, right? You kind of have to see it to believe it to to see kind of the superimposed RSR prime, but really it just kind of ends up being this slurry kind of R wave. But if you look here in ABL, we've got that nice RSR prime. Notice V1 and V2 have those deep slurry S waves. But in this case, because it's an incomplete block, they're not as slurred as we typically see because this QRS is still less than 120 milliseconds. And um, to an extent, we have lost our septal R wave that we know is uh, the septum is caught, the depolarization of the septum is caused by the left bundle branch. And so whenever you block it or even incompletely block it, uh, you'll see uh, some changes in that little septal R wave that we get when the septum depolarizes towards V1 and V2 from left to right. So this is a good example of an incomplete left bundle branch block. Um, hope this helps. This is just a quick little video.